Hello, hello, happy Saturday. I'm so excited to be coming to you today talking about how to clear our energies, specifically our spaces. There are so many things that you can do, um, and I have them at my desk right now. I'm going to share them with you. One of the ones that I really do like is my sound bowl. I like to walk around. I like to use this, especially when I'm talking to people, because it's a great little, like, clear that, that energy before you get on a call or just sitting in your office to clear the energy. I also have sage. Love burning my sage. I keep it in a little bowl because don't want to make a mess. And what I do is I will actually walk around my house and I will do one of two things. I will open all the windows, you know, but I also am setting an intention to actually like let go of any negativity, let go of any stagnant energies and bringing in positivity and love. I, I walk around doing that with this. I also use Palo Santo. I do not have any right now. Um, burning incense. You can take a, any type of incense that you like and, and just let it burn. And, and a lot of this is also using your intentions. Intentions to release stagnant energy. Something else that I love to do is I have an essential oil diffuser and I will burn like Lang Lang, Geranium Rose. I will burn, um, burn, put in peppermint, put in orange, whatever oils that you like, put it in your diffuser and let it go while you're in your office or while you're in your house somewhere. Um, one of the other things that I have is I have a bell and I walk around my house ringing the bell. Yes, yes I do. Along with clapping because what happens is you're, as you're walking through your house, you'll end up hearing dead spots. You know, this is a great sound, but then you'll hear something like You'll hear the dead spot. Same thing when you're when you're walking around clapping. You will hear dead spots. And when you do, I tend to ring the bell even louder in that area. And I clap even more. Or I'll bring the sage over there to really clear out that area. Maybe there's a, a spot in your house, in your bedroom, in your office. At, you know, at the entryway where there is some dead, stagnant energy. And you want to get rid of that. You want to keep moving that energy. Another thing that I have that I absolutely love is my tuning fork. It is um, 528 hertz, and this is the love frequency, and it's great for positivity and healing. I also do, like I'll put YouTube on, and there's different YouTube videos that actually have these different frequencies that you can play and clear energies. Absolutely. YouTube has a, and a plethora of you know, different songs that you could just sit. And I've been in my office where I've just let the YouTube, the videos play just to hear the music because it's just so relaxing. Um, something else that you can actually do too is a visualization. Visualizations are great. You create them. You have the power. You have the intention. So when you do your own visualizations, create something that you enjoy. One of the ones that I like to do is I will actually connect my energies to the universe and to the earth. And what I do is I'll bring it from both, right? And I'll bring it into the center of my body. And it's almost like I'm a conduit and out without me, you know, outside of me is all this energy in the house and I'll, and I'll imagine all the windows open so that I am releasing any stagnant energies and I'm bringing in peace and love. Again, it's just something that you can create yourself that works for you. Nobody needs to know that you're doing it. You're doing it all inside. You're doing it in your mind. You're creating a visualization. One of the things, and I really do like to do this, um, when I'm going out, depends on where you're going. Like if I'm going to the supermarket or if I'm going to the dentist, the doctor, or if I'm going someplace specific, I like to do that visualization and put the energy in that area that I'm going. And I want peace. I want harmony. I want creative energies, depending on where you're going and what you're doing. So you can use that as an excellent tool to visualize what you want to do to clear those energies. I mean, I, I, I have gone to certain places where, and I'm sure you have as well, where you walk in and it's like, holy shit, the energy is so heavy. And you can actually just visualize that area to clear out that energy. 
And um, some other things you could do is, for me, I love, love, love. I don't have it on today, but I do have it at, in my, right in my, my desk is, is tiger's eye. I love wearing tiger's eye. It's very grounding. I love having it at my desk. I do have a bunch of crystals at my desk because I, I love crystals too, but I really like the grounding energy of, um, tiger's eye. Also, what you could do is actually clearing your own energies and helping you relax. One of my favorite go-to oils, essential oils is Lang Lang. I like to put it on the back of my neck or on my wrist, especially if I'm feeling any type of anxiety. And usually when I'm feeling anxiety and there's no thoughts creating it, it is actually picking up the collective consciousness, whatever's going on in that moment. So I tend to um, wear Lang Lang for that because I love Lang Lang. All right, guys, if you have any questions, as always, post below or you can send me a message. I'm excited to be talking about these different topics because it's really important for empaths and highly sensitives to understand they control their environments. They control what is going on. You have the ability to really co-create your spaces, co-create your life. And one of the things I'm really excited about is I am offering and opening up December 1st is the Profitable Empath. I'll post a link to that group below. It's a seven week program and we delve into empath care for business owners because it's really, really huge. There are so many tools that we that I have to share that we can create and, and make it specific to you. I am all about taking tools that resonate with me and utilizing them and take it in, taking it in and creating something that works really well for me. So we go through your business. We go through a business audit, really seeing what types of strategies you're using, um, what is profitable for you, what are you holding on to because somebody else told you you should do it or you should hold on to this group program or this service and you don't like it and you're, you're done with it and you want to get rid of it. And it's, it's like this boulder that you're carrying with you. We do a, a business audit on all aspects of your business. We also go through self-trust. We also really learn to um, dig into body scans and what our body is constantly speaking to us because it really is. And there is a huge plus to resistance, but I'll let you, I'll teach you the difference between resistance, where it's your actual intuition talking to you, and resistance where your body is trying to keep you safe from getting outside of your comfort zone. There's, there is a big difference there. And then I also do a module on mindset for profitability. And this is a live class. And you get to ask me questions throughout. So I'm really excited about that. It starts December 1st. So you uh, post the link below. And again, if you have any questions about that as well, we can talk about that. Have a great Saturday, guys.